Good morning, bro chicos. I'm struggling today. Um, I want a cigarette so bad. And I wanted one yesterday morning too. I think the mornings where I don't have to go to work is the hardest. Because usually on my days off, I'd wake up, have my coffee, put the kids on the bus, and then enjoy a nice cigarette on the deck. I just went on a walk for 15 minutes. I just went on a walk because I was just trying to do something to distract myself or curb the craving because I literally want to cry. And it's so stupid because it's over a freaking cancer stick. The nicotine is out of my system by now. It's been 13 days, but it's the mental addiction. And I always knew that I didn't care about nicotine. Like nicotine is whatever to me. Getting through that first week was no problem. I did not crave nicotine. Now it's just the mental act of like smoking like I miss <sighs> I literally want to cry so bad but I just wanted to show you guys this very real side of me and I want to record it because years from now when I'm an ex smoker I'm gonna thank myself for getting through this but Dude, it's freaking hard, and I hate it. I hate that I'm a slave to them. I don't want, I don't want to feel that way over something. But it's really hard. I'm gonna turn this day around though. Um, <clears throat> at least I went on a walk for 15 minutes. It was something. Better than nothing, I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna go to Walmart and I have to get a bath mat, like um, a mat for around the toilet for the downstairs bathroom. It's just something I haven't picked up yet since living here. I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna look around and maybe buy that L'Oreal tinted balm that I wanted to buy or look at some clothes or something. I don't know. I'm going to treat myself because I've made it 13 days and that's huge. Even though it seems like a little bit, it's huge because I've been struggling. And yesterday there was a box of cigarettes in my house and I wanted to so bad because nobody's around. Nobody's watching. Nobody will know unless I tell them, but I didn't do it. So... I'm going to just have a fun day by myself and everything will be okay. I just, I just couldn't believe that um, I'm feeling this emotional. I'm also at the end of my period, like it's ending today, but. All right, so I just got to Walmart. Um, I think, I think I'm going to film a video and maybe just do a voiceover later just because like I'm not in the greatest mood right now so I don't know if I feel like talking <laughs> to my camera. I did do makeup and I got dressed. I'm wearing the Rolling Stone shirt that I got from Walmart and the distressed uh, straight Shein jeans. I absolutely love these jeans and I love this t-shirt so much. Um. I did makeup, but I didn't feel like doing my hair, and I washed it, so I just put it up in a clip. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna write out a little list so I don't forget the things that I really wanna get, and I'm gonna go shopping and see if my mood can change around, because the craving has subsided, but I just feel, I just feel like in a low mood. I'm just not really in a good mood, but we're gonna force it. Mm. 
Good morning, it's Thursday. Um, today was supposed to be my day off, but I picked up another shift because they needed somebody um, in the mid shift, so I'm going in at 11. I just did my makeup. <laughs> Again, I really don't wear makeup to work, but I wanna test out this L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Serum. So I just really wanted to test this out and I always used to test out new makeup at work because like I'm sweating, I'm working, going through the motions. So if it can last through work, then it's good. It's a good foundation in my opinion. Um, this isn't like a foundation foundation though. It's like a tinted serum. So anyways, it's got actually pretty decent coverage for a tinted serum. Um, in terms of like foundation, if you're going to compare it to a foundation, it's very, very light coverage, but for a tinted serum, I think it's more full coverage for tinted serums. Um, it's, I have my shade, my shade is medium. Um, it's on my face right now. I think it looks so beautiful and glowy and you can still see like my freckles through it and like a little bit of acne through it. But I I wish this one pimple wasn't right there in the middle of my chin. But other than that, like, I don't mind my natural skin showing through. Like, you guys know, I've been saying, I'm loving the, like, very natural, natural makeup look. Like, I don't want to look like a cake face. I don't want to look like an Inst Instagram model. I don't want to look like a beauty guru. I'm so over those makeup days. I just want to enhance my natural beauty. So... All I did was put this on, I used a primer, and then I just set it with just a little bit of the Laura Mercier powder, and because this is so undetectable, I love this powder so much. Um, I did use the new brow product that I got by Neutrogena. This is a medium brown micro brow tint serum pen, and this is transfer proof, so like once it's on there, she ain't going nowhere, dude. She ain't going nowhere. So I love that, especially for the summer and sweating and all that. Or maybe if you go swimming. So I have that on my eyebrows. That's all I have. And it's just like a pen that you make hair-like strokes with. So I try to mimic my microbladed eyebrows. And up close, it kind of looks like it's a mess because we're so used to that perfect primped eyebrow that we see on Instagram, right? So this looks like hair though. Like this looks like how hair would grow out of your face. And here's how it looks from a distance. I think it looks awesome. I personally think it looks awesome. I love it you can barely tell that there's any product in my brows i got the shade medium brown even though my hair is a dark brown i did not want my my eyebrows to be like super super dark so this is a great natural color i'm guys i'm freaking loving it highly recommend this so far but i do want to test it out today so by the end of the day i'll let you guys know how much i love it if you want a tutorial on a look like this where I like to call it the barely there makeup then let me know down below and I will do a designated tutorial using these products products um I did use a blush no bronzer today I just set it and put some blush and this is the Burt's Bees toasted cinnamon blush that I got for a dollar on clearance at Walmart I love this toasted cinnamon color it's just so natural just like a sun kiss glow kind of like you're wearing bronzer but also kind of like you're wearing blush <clears throat> i'm wearing this elf highlighter which this is a super old highlighter but i've been using it lately and it's in the shade blush gems it's a very natural highlight it just looks like dewy skin it doesn't look like i put a bunch of glitter or shimmer on my face like if you look at it it literally just looks like wet skin. I love this highlighter. It's so natural. And I'm also using my new L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara. I only use waterproof. I know a lot of people use the regular one, but when I saw they had waterproof, I was like, yeah, got to get that. I only do waterproof. I will not risk my life 
with a regular mascara. It'll flake everywhere or I, even if I laugh too hard, I tear. I, I just can't be doing regular mascaras. Waterproof only. I don't care how hard it is to remove. I only do waterproof. And yeah, I put that on and I love how natural this is as well. Like it, it's like barely there and I love it. I love the barely there makeup and I'm just wearing this little gloss by Wet n Wild. It is the Wild Shine Lip Gloss Balm. I don't think it has a shade. So that's what it looks like with my Milani Make It Last spray. That's it, that's it. It's just natural and clean and you look put together. I didn't even put concealer on. I literally just have the serum on my face. Like I didn't want it to be like a highlighted under eye, like super obvious that I was wearing makeup. So I like it. Let's see how long it lasts. So here is the before. And I think it just looks so good on the skin. Like my skin looks like skin but just elevated, you know? It just looks like a better version of my skin. And mm, it looks better in person. Like I'm looking in the camera and I'm like, whatever, but like in person, I don't know, I'm feeling myself in this. Maybe it was um, a sign that the tinted balm was in there. Maybe I was supposed to find this serum because so far, girl, so far, it's a winner. Like, some people might not like this look, though. Like, some people might want to look like they have makeup on. I just personally have been loving the natural look. And I just realized last night that I meant to get the Nair for your coochie area from Walmart because I did the Walmart haul. Oh, wait. Have you guys seen the Walmart haul yet? No, I don't. Oh, okay. So you know what? I'll upload the Walmart haul before I upload this then because you guys haven't seen that. But basically, I wanted to get a Nair that's meant for your bikini area. And I wanted to use it on my coochie because I'm so tired of shaving. Like, is anybody else tired of shaving? I literally can't stand it. I'm so done. And I'm probably being like a whiny brat because... I'm very fortunate that I don't have to shave my legs. If I want to go out in shorts and I haven't shaved my legs in months, nobody's going to see it. My hair is so thin and blonde. Why is it blonde? I have no idea. But it's like virtually undetectable. You literally cannot see it. And when you touch my legs, they're smooth as butter. And I'm not trying to brag at all. I'm just somehow fortunate that I don't have to shave my legs. So I don't have to shave as much as other women have to shave. But I still like, for some reason, my armpits and my coochie hair, they grow fast and thick. And they grow like a man's beard. So while I don't have to shave my legs, the other places are so annoying. I guess the armpits don't bother me too much. That's quick and easy. It's annoying to shave down there in the lady bits because I have a belly and it gets in the way. And like, it's just a lot of work. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of it. And I get like ingrown hairs and razor bumps and stuff. I try not to do it that often. So it helps prevent the razor bumps. But I still get ingrown hairs here and there. <clears throat> I know this is super TMI. If you're a man watching this, that's really awkward. And I'm I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Anyway, um, <laughs> so what was the other thing I was going to say? So I was thinking I could use the Nair. And I want to see how that goes. I want to see how that goes. Because maybe it will like last longer and I won't have to do it as often. So yeah, I need to get that. All right, we just finished blowing up the pool. It's not gonna stay here on the deck. We're gonna put it down there, but I'm gonna need help to bring it down and hubby ran to the store real quick. Um, so we used our air compressor. Uh, it helped, but I did have to finish blowing it up with my own lungs because um, the bigger part has like, there's like little ones for the chair pad in the back. So those are fine with the compressor, but the big rings, like the whole pool uh, needed a bigger one. So we got to get most of it in there, but we didn't have an attachment that really fit. So at some point I had to just like blow it up the rest of the way <laughs> with my own lungs. But here it is after all that trouble and it looks awesome. I cannot wait to use it. There's already bugs in it because they're 
freaking fallen from the tree, which is annoying, but it is what it is. And right now it's not even 80 degrees yet, but it feels very hot because the sun is out and it's very humid. So I'm ready to get in this thing. It's going to only get hotter. It feels very shady here because this tree is like insane. It's like we don't ever need an umbrella on this deck because this tree is so huge. But I don't know where to put the pool because uh, I obviously want it in the sun. I was like, what if we put it on the second deck there? I'm thinking of that. But when we drain it, what are we going to do? It's just going to drain underneath the deck, I guess. But I don't know if that would be bad for the deck. Probably. And then I was thinking out there, just like in the middle, I guess. But I think it's a little bit sloped. Um, right here in between the trees, it does get light. But not until like... 3 p.m. so it's tough because we have so much shade here and like in Texas you could put it anywhere because it was bright sun everywhere here we have tons of trees so there's tons of shade and through the whole day the sun just moves where it is because of the shade so about to fuck it up <laughs> By the way, this is the Nair that I bought for my Coochie region. <laughs> so I tried it out. Um, it did not work that well. Um, it says to keep it on for like six minutes and I did eight minutes. And it did take off some hair, but not all of it. So I would try it for like 10 minutes next time, but it says no longer than 10 minutes. I think the idea of it is cool because you won't have the stubble, the ingrown hairs, the razor bumps, all that. Um, but it does like give me the ick. Like it grosses me out. <laughs> I don't know why. The way that the hair looks when you take it off, it looks so gross. But I'll try it again. But for the first time, it didn't work for me. I had to go back in with a razor. So I just wanted to give you guys a little review on that guy right there. Another thing I had to update you guys on was the homemade pickles. Hubby tried them and I tried them. So the spicy ones came out so spicy. I didn't realize I made them that spicy, but like good, but like a little too sour. So my brine is a little too sour. It was like, I think four cups vinegar, one cup water. And that's like a TikTok recipe that I followed. Um, so I'm just gonna adjust it and do maybe like two cups of vinegar, two cups water and like see how that goes because <clears throat> it was just way too sour. Now the flavors were delicious, super good flavor, um, very good crunch. I just need to dial it back on the vinegar and it'll be less sour, but I, they're really good. Like seriously, there's no need to like buy pickles when you can make them better yourself. Like I even uh, tried to, so my favorite pickle to buy is the Clausen pickles, and I tried the Clausen pickle right after my pickle, and the Clausen just seemed super watered down after I had mine. So I was like, oh, mine tastes so much better than why would I buy uh, other pickles? I don't know if you're truly saving money by making your pickles, but at least you know everything that goes into your pickles. I don't know. Um, I'm just like trying to make my own stuff because I'll know the ingredients and stuff like that. Not so much like, will it save money? I don't know. I don't really know if it would, but I think it's just better for you to make your own stuff. Adding this in here, cause, oh, that's a bra. Uh, forgot to add this in about the quitting smoking. So yesterday was, so the day before yesterday was the really tough day that you guys saw. Was that? Yeah. Or the day before that. Um, besides yesterday and today, the three days prior were really, really tough days for me um, in the morning with not having cigarettes. Yesterday morning, because hubby was home because it was the weekend, I, I think it's because he was here, I felt a lot better. And now he has officially quit. So he started his quitting smoking cigarettes journey uh, yesterday. But I felt so much better yesterday morning. I did not feel mentally unstable like I did those other days. So that was great. It got a lot easier yesterday. This morning has been easy so far. I've been feeling good. I'm not having a craving. I'm not getting upset. 
I don't feel emotional about it and so that's awesome. I don't know if it's because he's here and he's like my support system. Maybe. Maybe I felt those ways because I was like alone. I'm not sure so we'll have to see how. Actually Monday I don't have work since okay so today's Sunday it's confusing because weddings are usually on Saturdays but the wedding is today so we both took off Monday of work so we don't have to work Monday because we're obviously sleeping over there in Gloucester and the kids are not going to school tomorrow so Tuesday I think we will see how I'm feeling in that morning but so far so good still haven't had any we're doing okay I'm gonna make it through <laughs> I keep having to add to this vlog because I said I would update you guys on things <laughs> and from the last vlog and I keep forgetting until right now because I'm editing it. So the tinted serum with hyaluronic acid by L'Oreal was beautiful, amazing. I love it so much. It did get dewier throughout the day. So if you are oily, definitely consider a matte primer or of some sort. You will have to blot a little bit, but I don't care because it's just so pretty. It wears like skin. It looks like skin. It feels like nothing. And I really, really loved it. Also, the eyebrow pen I got complimented on at work. People noticed that my brows were looking awesome. They they thought that I got my brows re-microbladed. -micro like, um, they thought that I went ahead and like got a retouch of microblading. So it looks like microblading. I love that pen so much. I'm taking it with me for the weekend. Um, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys on the makeup real quick. So next, I'm going to make mayonnaise. Um, sometime this upcoming week but today is Sunday today is my friend's wedding and I'm about to take a shower I have to get my hair did um, I'm gonna do my makeup once I get to the hotel the only thing is that like the hotel check-in is at three and the wedding is at four so that's not enough time so we're gonna try to get a check-in at one we're gonna try to do early check-in but I don't know if we can. They said that they're going to try for us, but they can't promise. So I was like, oh, shit. I mean, I don't think I need an hour to do makeup. I think I'll be fine. As long as I, like, blow dry my hair and have my hair ready to go, putting my dress on takes two seconds. And then maybe, like, 30, 40 minutes to do makeup. So, Ooh. but anyways... Um, we're going to be super busy running around, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because it's getting long. Just wanted to give you guys a couple of updates that I had missed. And then I'm going to start a new vlog today um, for our trip to Gloucester and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!